بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم So inshallah we're moving on with our discussion regarding sentences within sentences So we had different levels now in level 5 So we've done words, sentences, phrases, pronouns Now we're discussing sentences within sentences And this is the words Ism fa'al harf The jumla ismiya, jumla fa'aliya Then you have different phrases We have Man outnaat ism ishara Ma'atuf alayhi ma'atuf Mubdaminu badal Mu'akkad ta'kidu adil in laytron Mudaf mudaf ilay Adad ma'adud numbers And then the shibhu jumla Correct? And then we were on to pronouns We had zameer marfu, zameer mansub, zameer majroor And we also had the interrogative pronouns And then in the pronouns we had the ta'kid, ma'akad ta'kid Then the fifth section we want to move on to now is Where we have a sentence taking the slot of an entire sentence What do we have? One sentence, it takes the slot of an entire sentence So the mubtara becomes the, the, So far we think khabar, khabar is the easiest But the khabar becomes what? The a whole sentence Whether jumla ismi or jumla fa'liya So we said here the khabar can be a single word Sayyidun Qa'imun The khabar can be a phrase Like a ma'atuf alayhi ma'atuf Or a mubda minhu badal Or a man'ut na'at Or any of those structures Then we said the khabar can also be a sentence And the sentence can be what? A jumla ismiya or a jumla fa'liya Everybody following so far? Alright Now What things have khabar? So we can discuss a few of them But so far we covered Mubtara can have a khabar Yes? Ismail Istifam can have a khabar If the sentence after as a pronoun Or the harfun jar rubba With the na as well, that can also have what? A harfun jar, a khabar The fa'lu naqis can have a khabar And the harfun shabuhun bil fa'l can have a khabar So all of these khabar can be either word, sentence or phrase Yes? So what we want to discuss here today is If you have a fa'lu naqis What do we have? If you have a fa'lu naqis Okay well, How do you translate this? So remember one principle This is very. This is going to help you a lot In many places The rule is A madhi plus a mudari Equals what? We have algebra Madhi plus mudari M squared plus M cube Equals what? This Equals Past continuous or past habitual Anytime you have a So kana is what tense is kana? Past kana ikunu so if you add that, not directly onto it, but somewhere in the sentence, so before you have a past tense, and after it, what do you have? After it, what do you have? A future tense, or a fel mudari. Then what happens? In this scenario, what happens now? You translate it as past continuous or past habitual. What does that mean? كَانَ الْوَلَدُ يَقْرَأُ Quran. The boy? Well, the boy used to read the Quran, the boy was reading the Quran. Now, how do you explain this? Look, the boy is reading. Now, what's that? A continue, what does that mean? He's reading it, but like when? Uh, from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. From 3 to 3.30. Yes, yeah, so he was reading it, meaning he was reading it for the period of time, but overall that's only one time. So he was reading it one time, but extended. Qara, he read and he finished. And yaqra'u, ka'ana yaqra'u, he was reading it, and then something happened. He was reading it, then he got tired. He was reading it, then he, he, he recited to his teacher. Are you following? So when it's referring to one event, you call it what? Continuous. It was happening over a period of time in the past. So he was reading. And when it's what? Every day, every week, every month, every year. Happening repetitively. You call it what? Habitual. So what? Over the calendar, it happens over and over again, isn't it? So what? This is what? Used to And this is translated as what? Was Ing He was reading He was sleeping Do you understand? Correct? And in Turkey we have this Fatu Naqis The Ism of Kana and the Khabar of Kana So Kana and Nasu يعبدون الأصنام كان الناس يعبدون الأصنام فعل فاعل يعني هذا مفعول به. correct. okay. so كانوا يكفرون بآيات الله. how do you translate this, Ahmed? they used to disbelieve. they used to be disbelieve in the in the signs of Allah. محمد كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يخطب قائما. 
He used to give his lecture standing. Kuntum tastakbiruna fil ard. Ibrahim, Muhammad, Hamad, anyone? So kuntum tastakbiruna fil ard. You used to behave or act proudly in the land or in the earth. Yes? And kuntum tu'minuna billahi wal yawm al akhir. How do you translate this one? They could, you continue. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you don't say used to. Because if you say you used to believe in Allah, you can say that you believed. So that rule of thumb used to, as I said, as you get further and further, you have to realize that sometimes you have to adjust translation to fit. So you want to say here, you used to believe in Allah. So you believe, or you believed in Allah and His Messenger. So, because uh, so, when you have a, like a stative verb, to believe, so sometimes, sometimes when it's like a not a, it's like a, like, to be happy. You guys are used to be happy. So he was happy. Mm -hmm. So sometimes here, you don't translate the used to. Okay. So in summary, what do we have? We have the khabar. You can have the khabar of a mubtada. Ismul istifham or rubba, the, the word after rubba. Khabar of fa'il naqis or the haq mushabbahun bil fa'il. You got it? Okay. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. ونشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك